Hey guys, it's Joy here and today's video is all about swimming tips for natural hair. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and thumbs up this video as well as turn on those notifications so you know every time I post a new hair video. So if you did not know, um, I swam competitively for 7 years from 6th grade to high school and I was in the pool 6 days a week for 3-4 to four hours a day. And my hair was a thing because I had to figure out how I could keep semi-healthy hair while it was being immersed in chlorine in and out, being wet, dry, and everything and all of that stuff. So I'm going to share with you all of my tips, whether you are just going to the pool this summer or the beach or you are a swimmer like I am, these tips will help you. So the first thing, like the thing that helps the most is if you get a protective style. So for me, I would get braids or twists um, for about two months. I swam from like September to February and then March through the summer. So I was really getting on and off. Um, with the braids, but if you're a competitive swimmer one thing is you have to wear a swim cap and sometimes braids Don't fit under that so make sure when you get a style you can get thinner braids or some type of style that is not chunky or like box braids or anything because that probably won't fit under your cap so but if you're just going to the beach vacation yeah get some braids whether it, any type of braids or twists um also when you're swimming think about your edges because if you're getting smaller braids and you're also wearing a swim cap that's putting a lot of stress on your edges so also maybe get larger ones near your edges and then um, you can have the smaller ones some other places and discuss that with whoever is doing your hair just so they know what you want if you don't have time or money to get braids or twists done with hair extensions um, just maybe do some french braids do two strand twists just something so that your hair is not out while you're swimming or just in a ponytail that is never fun when it comes to detangling or like getting your hair back to a wearable state so definitely do something before you get your hair in that water and while you're getting your hair in that style definitely make sure you have some type of conditioner on your hair my favorite is shea butter shea butter was a great protectant for my hair when swimming especially if i didn't have braids at the moment so i would put a ton of shea butter in my hair and then do some french braids or twists and then i would swim or whatever and I would come out and my hair wouldn't even smell like chlorine because the shea butter put like a whole protective barrier of, over my hair basically. If you don't know where to get shea butter or you want to use the one that I use, look in the um, description box. I have a link to all of the hair products I use so when I'm talking about conditioners and all that stuff like all of that is in that link in the description box. So in addition to adding shea butter, um, make sure that if you really didn't have time to get a style done and you're just throwing your hair in a ponytail or something, make sure you use scrunchies, not hair ties, because even though they have the outless hair ties, there's still a good chance that your hair is going to get tangled in it while it's wet and you don't want any breakage while you're just putting your hair up, so a scrunchie will help eliminate that breakage that a hair tie might cause. You can get these anywhere and they're also in the link that's in the description description box if you want to just order a couple of those next you want to think about when you get out of the pool so when I got off the pool I would rinse out my hair whether it was in braids whether it was natural with nothing just make sure you rinse out the chlorine then you want to do a quick wash with shampoo um, just to get the chlorine off of your hair a little bit more when I was swimming every day I might have used shampoo once every two days or three days just so I didn't really kill my hair um, but you must use conditioner so what I suggest is you get a cheap conditioner like a really large bottle especially if you're a competitive swimmer and just drench your hair in that stuff girl because your hair is really dry even though it's wet all the time the chlorine is stripping your hair of oils and the things it needs to like not break off so that's how you're gonna stop your hair from breaking off if you're swimming a lot so make sure after you rinse do a little bit of shampoo on your scalp um, you're putting a ton of conditioner on your hair and then you are letting it dry you're putting it back in twists if you have braids um, I would put conditioner over my braids even though that causes frizz you're already in the water so a little bit more frizz isn't gonna hurt you especially if it's protecting your hair so make sure you have that conditioner 
And on top of your conditioner, you can add a oil to seal in the moisture. Um, I like coconut oil, olive oil. I used to mix a ton of oils. If you don't know what oil to get, that link in the description box has some good oils to start out with. And I also wanted to end this video with a couple of just random tips for swimmers, competitive swimmers, because I know a lot of you have been commenting on my videos. Um, so swim caps, make sure you get the extra large swim caps. I used to use a double cap, so I'd have two caps, just in case one ripped while I was trying to put it over the braids, which happened a lot. Um, also, make sure your goggles are adjusted correctly because you will break a lot of goggles with natural hair um, just because your hair is just big. So make sure you have backup goggles, backup swim cap, and your swim bag. Make sure you have your conditioner, you have scrunchies, you have extras. Also, I forgot about this, dry your hair with a t-shirt, not a towel. Um, the fibers in a towel will cause breakage on your natural hair a t-shirt's a little bit more smoother so that will help prevent further breakage that is a big one um, make sure that you dry your hair with a t-shirt um, not a towel and so even if you have braids just use a t-shirt so have extra t-shirts in your bag for when you're drying your hair make sure you let your hair dry completely don't just leave it in a towel but also if you're swimming during the winter time you will have to have like a hat on or something so make sure you don't leave your hat on forever like i would go home like cold and just like leave all my stuff on but make sure you do give your hair a chance to dry so if you have any questions about swimming or if you try any of these out and you enjoy them leave a comment below and of course make sure you subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video so i thank you guys so much for watching um you can check out my other natural hair videos up here and i'll talk to you guys later bye